In ag news from agview.net, Kansas Senator Jerry Moran has once again introduced legislation that would relax the U.S. trade embargo with Cuba. The legislation's goal is to open up another avenue for profit for America's farmers and ranchers. Moran says the current regulations are limiting revenue streams for farmers, ranchers, and even manufacturers. A unilateral trade embargo on Cuba blocks Americans' farmers, ranchers, and manufacturers from selling into a market just 90 miles off the U.S. shores. Kansas Farm Bureau President Rich Felt says having the opportunity to export things like wheat, corn, and soybeans to our neighbors down in Cuba would be a win for farming communities across Kansas and even around the country. The U.S. Trade Commission shows that lifting the embargo could potentially increase exports by 166 percent and bring an additional $800 million to the U.S. economy over five years. Although people in the U.S. are eating more vegetables and fruits than they did in 1970, the average U.S. diet still falls short of federal recommendations for the two major food groups, as well as dairy, as provided in the 2020 through 2025 dietary guidelines for Americans. In contrast to the recommended daily two and a half cups of vegetables on a 2,000 acre or 2,000 calorie per day diet, people in the U.S. consumed about 1.9 cups in 2018, according to data available from the USDA's Economic Research Service. Now, this represents 76% of the recommended amount, up from 63%, though, in 1970. 2018, U.S. consumers ate or drank an average of one and a half cups of dairy products per day, or 50% of the recommended three cups, a decrease from 1.6 in 1970. Fruit consumption in the U.S., uh, the farthest below guidance at 41% of the recommended two cups a day. On average, U.S. consumption of food in the meat, egg, and nut category and grains as well in 2018 exceeded the recommended amount. This data comes from the Loss Adjusted Food Availability Data Series from the uh, USDA's Economic Research Service. And congressional lawmakers spearheading a couple of letters to the administration asking USDA and the Department of Justice to appeal a recent federal court ruling. If left unchallenged, they say the ruling will cause tremendous financial harm to American hog farmers. Starting at the end of the month, it would take effect the end of June of the USDA new swine inspection system, allowing for faster harvest facility line speeds. Find more ag news at agview.net. Stay with us for more in a moment.